Hi guys, I'm Mr. Razor, and welcome to my channel. I'm really excited to finally be getting to these videos showing my full stationery collection and craft storage organization. I have so much hidden inside these two Alex drawers from Ikea and then also on top of my desk with all the craft storage cubes and containers. There's just so much I have and I have been working hard to organize everything to get it ready to show you guys. In the meantime, I know I've been a bit slow the past few weeks on videos and that's because um, in the last few weeks, I'm in the last few weeks of my yeah, university and also my last year of university and I have a few huge essays and a final exam coming up that I need to study for and that I have been stuffed with working on and alongside that I have also been working part-time at my local grocery store deli since a lot of people are out due to the whole coronavirus situation so I've just been quite jumbled up um, with things to do but anyway let's just dive right into the first part of all my stationery that I own. So in this first part, I will be showing what's in my smaller Alex drawer, which looks quite small from the outside, but the amount of stuff in there will be quite satisfying to look at. Oh, and before I move on, make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video as I will be announcing my next stationery giveaway Probably um, also to satisfy that thirst to buy more stationery that you might have after watching this. And now let's take a look at just how much stuff I have in this first set of drawers. So starting off with my first Alex drawer. This is one from Ikea. Let's start from the top going down. So first, a very um, basic drawer. Um, I honestly actually rarely ever use stuff from this drawer. <laughs> um, but anyway, here's just some regular old number two pencils. Um, these are just some clips, more paper, uh, some clips and then paper clips. And then I believe in the back, there's like a box of like tacks in there. Um, just some random colored pencils um, and then this is just a pile of pens right here I have some and I have like these used to be um, I have a lot of these I use these a lot in the past but I don't use them anymore but I had a whole bunch of like new ones still I had I think I've like two or three like a I think it was like I had like about two packs of new ones, so I just opened them and put them here while organizing my stationery. And then I have some pens from Muji. I of course have some Pilot G2 pens. And all the stuff that you see here is just like that it's stuff that I put in like my first couple of drawers, not like in my sets that you'll see later. Um, everything is just like everything that's just loose that I had and so that I organized and put into the first couple of drawers and which I'm supposedly gonna use first but I honestly never really use them but I have them here and so these are just all the loose pens and pencils and then I have a lot of index cards because I love using index cards um, to just write down thoughts whenever I need to along with post-it notes so that's basically my first drawer here Second drawer, a little more important. Um, so I have my regular staple um, tape dispensers. Um, back here I have a whole thing of just pile of USB drives. Back there I have some more extra staples for my stapler, of course. And then just um, chapsticks and hand sanitizer stuff. 
And then the main part of this compartment is just right here where I have like all my erasers and all my different kinds of lead for my mechanical pencils. This I have one whole section right here devoted to just 0.3 lead because my main pencil is a 0.3 pencil, millimeter pencil. Although I do have a lot of the other sizes. Um, I have like, I even have down to 0.2, although I like basically never use that. And then I have 0.7, oops. Point 0.5 lead, and then some 0.9 lead. And I honestly rarely ever use this stuff anymore, but anyway, I still have it because I still have pencils that use them. So that's a quick view of the second drawer. Third drawer, this is where we get more and things get more interesting. So starting off here, from the outside, I have all these Staedtler um, highlighters and fine liners. These are the pigment liners, the colored ones. And then these from my AliExpress from one of my previous AliExpress haul videos, I have these STA metallic um, brush markers and regular markers. And they're all metallic. And then right here, I have just a peek in there. I have these are just the regular all Crayola markers. Um, I have some of the metallics, the thin ones, and then the thick ones at the bottom. And I'll go more into detail with these pens um, in future videos in which I will do like swatches. Give me a sec to just fix this box. Anyway, moving on. In this box, both of these boxes here are both Sharpies. These ones are older ones. These ones are the newer ones. Um, the older ones is just a whole box of compilation of like old, older Sharpies in which I have, which is quite a bit. And then in this box, uh, if you've seen my, from my Black Friday haul, um, this is the one from this, the limited edition Sharpie um, set from Black Friday. And so I pulled all the pens from there. There's some other regular, there's like the, these ultra fine points. And then there's also the regular fine points in there. So those are all new. These are the older ones. It's going to take a little bit of effort to get in here, but... Here we have a set of Posca markers. These are all brand new. I just received them about a month ago and in which I hope to do some like customization of things with this in the future. Put that aside. And then if you've seen my Chuck Cola video, these are a box of chalk markers in which I showed in those videos, in that video. And so I have that stored back here. Here I have one more extra chalk marker. And then now I have another pack of Posca markers. These ones are the um, fine point. And then the other pack from before, this is like the bold point. And then moving more further back here. These are all just, I believe, Some more extra colored pencils. And even more here. These are just like old pencils in which I just had scattered from the past and I just put them all away in these things. And then here, last 
but not least for this drawer, I have this pack of Staedtler pencils, just regular um, HB pencils. Um, and then there's a lot of eraser caps in it. And then I got, there's also a pencil sharpener in it. I actually got this from Costco when I was in Montreal, and which is just like, yeah, a lot farther than where I live now. Um, but I was on vacation there, and one of the things in which my family tends to like to do is that we like to stop by Costco's, and then I saw this at their Costco, and it was a really good price, so I got it. Although now, I like, it just sits here, but I'm glad I got it. It's because, why not? I, I always use a racer cap, so I can always, always use a racer cap. The... Um, I and I also love their pencil sharpeners. I have one that's um, already opened, and so that's a new one that I can use later on. I don't really use HP pencils, but maybe someday I will. So, I have that. And so moving on, I'll put everything away back later, but... Anyway, next drawer. Ooh, this is where things get even more intense. Starting off right here is my 96 set of Tombow dual brush markers. I'm not gonna open it, but yep, that's all right here, the whole 96 set. And that's because since I already have the 96 sets, that's why in my giveaways, I'm giving away so many Tombow dual brush markers because when they're on sale, I just can't resist and I just buy them. So I just give them to you guys because I don't need them because I have this. And then here I have my, a lot of stamps, all these craft like stamp pads. And then the stamp alphabets, one for uppercase and one for lowercase. And then back here I have um, a set of Prismacolor. Um, this, this is my open set. Later on, you'll see my brand new set later on. That's just an empty box right there. Um, back here, I have some... These are some sketch... Like, all the different... Um, like, light and dark um, sketching pencils. Um... Sit down here because I'm getting pretty low on the ground. Here I have some more. These are like where I'm, this is when I get to like my newer sets of pens in which I store lower down. So this is my favorite pencil to use. So I always have an extra brand new one. And then this is some more, just another pack of 0.2 lead. Um, but, and then here, I have some more Graph Gear Pentel 0.3 millimeter mechanical pencils. And then these are my 0.2 millimeter um, mechanical pencils. And so I have all those new mechanical pencils here. And then in this box, these are all a whole bunch of brand new pens from Muji. These are some extra pen fillers. These are 0.25 um, millimeter tip pencil pens. Um, so I have quite a few of those, different blues. And then these are just some of their gel pens that I really, really like. These write really smooth. So these are the ones that I use just for like scribbling down stuff. But these are all great pens here. So that's all my brand new Muji pens. There we go. 
And then all these pencil pen cases, they're all from Muji also because they're super sturdy and they're a really good price and I really love them. And then here is just all these um, Signo oops, oops, white uh, Uniball Signo um, pens in which everybody really talks about and whenever people talk about blackout journals these, this is one of the popular pens that they use in their blackout journals so I have some of those and so more boxes I have a ton of these um, these are just some um, extra pens that are pretty new that I found lying around. They are all, I believe, like 0.5 millimeter tip pens. So I just have some more, just, I just have a whole bunch of these pens lying around. So I bunch them up here and put them in this box. Oh. And then here, just two boxes of Crayola Twistables. I have those because I never, they're actually all like brand new. I only bought them in the, I bought these quite a while ago. Um, when me and, um, I have a sister and we both, ever since those came out when we were little kids, um, we always wanted them. So eventually we got a pack, but we never really used them. So I have them stored here. So... That's everything for this drawer. And then moving on, this drawer is pretty hefty and it's gonna get take a while to get through. This is where all that new stuff lies. Whole bunch of stuff here. So these are this is like a set of watercolor markers or pens. And this is that set of Prismacolor. These are all, this whole pack is completely brand new, the 132 pack. I got this for a really, really good deal because um, I kept, I bought it off of Amazon, but I kept watching the price go down and I kept watching it. It was like, I think normally like 80 something dollars and I got it for like 60 something dollars for this whole set. So I have that. I don't know if there's anything under this. Um, oh, I do. Um, so anyway, this is the Paper Mate set from my Black Friday haul video, um, which has like the Paper Mate flares and the gel pens and stuff here. There's a lot, a lot that I stuff in this drawer, so it's gonna take a while to get through. And this is just the, something that fell down, was just a very cheap, but I just wanted to try it from AliExpress. It's just some like, a dual-sided tape dispenser thing. I honestly didn't like these. I bought like two of them and they run out very fast. And I, instead I have my Tombow, Tombow um, ones instead, and which you can replace um, the inside with and which will be later in my video. Um, anyway, so moving on, I have this a pack of the super, 100 pack of super tips. I got this actually only for like about 10 bucks completely brand new off of Amazon during around the Christmas time. So I have that. And then let's see what else we have. More eraser, more eraser caps here because I really use these on top of my, I put them on top of my mechanical pencils, um, the ends. So I have those, more of those. Um, these, I got for an amazing price when I was in Hong Kong, um, like about, I think a year and a half ago. 
Um, these write surprisingly smooth and are so, were so cheap. They're about like nine, I think I got them for like, like nine Hong Kong dollars, which is like, like a dollar and like 10 cents maybe for this whole pack of like 12 pens. And they write so good and they last a long time for each one. What is there? Anyway, so here's a, another set of, oh, here's a set of Faber-Castell. Um, they're pit pens, artist pit pens, which is basically like fine pigment liners and stuff like that. And then this is where I have, it's also a set of Copic multi-liners, which is basically the same as those Faber-Castell ones. I have so many pigment liners, fine liners of so many types. So these are all like brand new. Everything in the store is basically brand new. That I... And then here's some Copic marker replacement tips. As I do have a set of Copic markers that I never actually used, um, which you will see later in this video. So make sure to stick around for that. I have a ton more stuff like this is only this the stuff in this drawer is only like part of this whole Alex drawer right here is just part of everything else that I have stored in my other drawers so yeah moving on there's some oil pastels right there some removable mounting putty which is for all the posters that I have on my walls here's a just a pack of clear tape and moving on let's see here are some of those replacers for those that those Tombow um, dual-sided tape dispensers so I have some some of those replacements here um, let's see and here we go I have a whole bunch of these Pigma Micron packs um, these are just the extras that I don't have in my setup on top of my desk so these I don't uh, I believe these are like the brush pens it's either one but anyway I'll go through like these like showing all my microns in like a later video like doing swatches and stuff like that so yeah like I said I can expected these are the brush pens these are just the extras again. More and more. Yeah, some more Pigma Microns. The reason why I have so many Pigma Microns is because um, in the past, um, not Ali. I didn't. I you. I buy a ton of stuff from AliExpress now, but there's this other site. I can't remember what it's called that um, had these pigment microns that were selling in like um, around the China Japan area. Again, they ship around there. Um, but they sold these um, pigment microns like single or, or like a, like well single handed like single for each single pen. They were only around like I think. 76 cents to a dollar per pen, which was an amazing deal. So I just splurged and bought a whole bunch of them. And since I had back then, before all this coronavirus stuff, of course, um, back then I always I have relatives that travel from there, come visit the U.S. a lot, and I would just buy these and have it shipped to their place in like um, Hong Kong or something. In like Hong Kong um, and they would just bring them over for me so it cost doesn't cost much for shipping and they would just bring it over for me and I could buy a whole bunch so I have a ton of those microns and then here we go with oh wait one more small thing before we get into this well here I have of course you probably recognize the package some jelly rolls
which are also like those really popular white pens people use in their blackout journals. And then the last two things, but not least, I'm not going to bother pulling it out, but this is that ultimate collection, Sharpie collection that I bought during Black Friday. And you can see that in my Black Friday video. Hope this isn't getting caught onto anything. But, and then down there is my set of... Yeah, I might as well pull it out. Um, but this is my set of Copic markers. Still completely brand new. Costs like probably, I think around like $200 US. And my parents actually bought this for me when they were in Japan. As I asked them to get me a set of Copic markers. And they got me this one. And yes, it's super, super expensive. And... I'm actually scared to actually even open it because they were so expensive. So I have that sitting in the back of this drawer. Uh, it's going to take me a while to reorganize this. Anyway, I'll cut, I'll reorganize all this stuff later after I film this video. So that is everything for this just this one Alex drawer, which is one drawer out of many that I have. Or well, actually one drawer out of many other storage places that I have. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And as I mentioned earlier, here is my next giveaway bundle to celebrate having hit that 600 subscribers mark a little while back. In this bundle, I have some watercolor pencils, some stickers, washi tape, and a set of gel pens, two ballpoint pens, a fine and bold tip permanent marker, and a mechanical pencil. And all you gotta do to enter for this giveaway is first subscribe to my channel, and then like and subscribe, like uh, and comment on this video with your Instagram or Twitter ID so I can contact you and also follow me on my Instagram and or Twitter account where you will find ways to earn additional entries for this giveaway. And I will announce the winner for this giveaway on April 30th. And so I am giving away a bundle of stationery for every 100 subscribers to 1,000 subscribers currently. So make sure to subscribe with post notifications on so you don't miss a giveaway. And also if you enjoy this video and want to see more of my content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And for anyone new to my channel, I do lots of minimalist bullet journal videos, doodling, lettering, and I will be expanding to do more artsy things too and more creative and fun videos. So if this interests you, make sure to click subscribe. I really hope to be able to do more than just giveaways with my channel and um, do videos where I am also gonna be donating lots of stationery to schools and places that need supplies and it would mean so much to have your support. And so anyway, thank you for coming to check out this first video out of three showing my massive stationery collection, art supplies, and craft storage organization. And I'll see you in the next video.